You're watching the 2019 SCAC Fall Media Days. It is day five, and we're taking a look at the Colorado College cross-country programs. The Tigers are coming off successful seasons on both the men's and the women's side, where they both play second at the SCAC Championships. CC will be led once again by head coach Ted Castaneda, along with senior Max Blackburn on the men's side and sophomore Lucy Wagner on the women's side. Coach Max, Lucy, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Coach, we'll start with you. The excitement of a new season, a clean slate across the board with all the team's goals you know, in the window. What do you love about this time of year, and what makes this part uh, of the season, the preseason, ex special and exciting? Well, obviously we're looking forward to the returnees, but also the newcomers that will be joining us, and things have really started to gel. So uh, this time of year is when we start to put it together and lay down that foundation we want to have going into the season, and then the excitement of actually seeing it all come together. So this is a good time of year for us. Max, we talked uh, before going on. You returned back to the cross country after studying abroad a season ago. You had a successful outdoor track and field season, two all-conference performances, including winning the, the steeplechase. How much does that outdoor track season kind of vault you into to the return of cross country, and how excited are you to be back with your teammates uh, for another cross country year? Yeah, thank you. I'm very excited to be back for cross country. Uh, I love cross country like nothing else. Um, and to your point, yes, the track season really has set me well, set me up well for this summer um, in which I had got good training and got me really excited for this cross country season as well. Lucy, for you in your sophomore season, you return after getting that first year of collegiate running under your belt. How different is it coming into camp as a sophomore, and what did you learn a season ago that will help you heading into this sophomore campaign? Um, I actually didn't attend cross-country camp last year, so all of this is a little bit new to me. But um, So that's really exciting. I'm happy to be back here early with the team, and I'm really excited about that. Um, in addition, I was injured a lot last year, had a... Um, hip flexor injury in the fall and some Achilles problems in the spring. So I had a pretty large chunk of my season that was um, cut out cross training. And so I'm looking for, I've learned a couple lessons just about training and how to treat my body a little bit differently. And I'm really looking forward to a little bit of a different training plan than I've had in the past. And um, all of that should make for a really great season. So I'm really looking forward to that and how the team will do. Yeah. Coach, you mentioned it a little bit, but you know, obviously the progression of the season, especially for these distance runners with very little you know, off season as, as you look forward even into the spring, into that track time. So what are you looking for early in the year, kind of a mark that gives you confidence, that knows and, and allows this team to be ready for, as you call it, hammer time uh, come October? Well, first in particular is laying that foundation. That's so essential. Uh, getting people to know each other, support each other, look at the strengths and weaknesses that we can work on later on in the season. So this is a very important time of year, uh, you know, just to get prepared for later in the season. Then we will find out how it works by October. And that is to uh, beginning of October, we're going to the pre-national meet in Louisville, Kentucky. And we'll be taking some of our top runners there to kind of get a feeling for how they're looking that early in the season and then of course things will change over the next four or five weeks but right now uh, you know it's still early in the season uh, we've got a lot of young freshmen on both men and women's side particularly on the women but talented on the women's side and uh, we've got some people that can make an impact on the men's side that are newcomers so gelling it all together just takes time. Max you know cross-country distance runners are, are you know, to me, so so unique in the amount of self-discipline it takes to, to be good at your craft. What is it that motivates you as a runner, especially in those times during the summer when you're trying to build that base and you're not allowed, you're not running with your teammates. Maybe you're doing it by yourself. What what is it that motivates you to, to put in that work during the tough times of the off season? Well, what motivates me most is having been in those championship experiences and succeeding there. Um, I know that there's no better feeling and I want to get back there. So even as early as in the summer, I'm visualizing and thinking forward um, and staying focused on the task at hand. So um, I've been doing this for years, so I know it's worth it. And it's, it really comes down to a routine, staying in your routine, 
getting it in. Um, as the coach says, the great ones get it in. Lucy, while you might not have been with the team during preseason a year ago, you were still able to come and, and make an impact with this group. Individually, you finished 11th at the SCAC Championships last year. Kind of take me through what your summer has looked like. I know you're coming back from injury. You know, how were you able to, to kind of get your training in? Do you feel like you're uh, as prepared as you'd like to be now heading into this sophomore season? Um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better about this season than I did last year. Um, I didn't have a lot of direction last summer. When it came to um, training plans, I didn't have as good of an idea of what to do. So this year, I've done a little bit different things with mileage. Um, and yeah, I think that on the whole, we've done a better job of preparing me. And coming off of an injury, we made sure to take it pretty slow in the beginning. And see, doing some physical therapy and strength has been really crucial to um, this recovery path over the summer, but I'm feeling really healthy and um, strong now, so I think that all should go well this fall. Coach, looking ahead to this season, CC has the opportunity to host the SCAC Cross Country Championships at the end of the year. How excited are you to, to be able to host that championship there at altitude, and is it something that you hope uh, that both your teams will you know take advantage of? Well, we're very excited, obviously. We're very honored to be hosting it's the first time in our history we've ever done that, and we're putting a lot of time and energy. A lot of people at Colorado College have helped me get this prepared. And then, of course, the teams are very excited. So we're very motivated because it is at home. And yeah, we do have an advantage at altitude, but you can't take that for granted. And we know we got some great competition that's coming out. And, uh, you know, right now it's Trinity. You know, we're, we're focusing on Trinity and other teams that could step up. So, you know, it all comes down to that one day in November, and we are definitely getting prepared for that. To wrap things up with both athletes, Max and Lucy, as, as the two of you are, are looking ahead to, to Max, your senior season, Lucy, your sophomore year, what are some of the team goals that you both have for each of your programs, and what will be key for, for those teams to accomplish them? Yeah, so for the men's side, we've got a very strong core of seniors this year. Um, who've stuck with it the past four years and have really progressed a long way. Um, and so this final year, we have the very lofty goal of making it to nationals this year. And in order to do that, we're going to have to call on all of our expertise for the past four years, ask some younger guys to step up in a big way, um, and make sure we're just healthy when the time comes to to perform at that regional meet. Um, and for the women's team, I'd say we're kind of on the opposite side of the spectrum than the men. We have a pretty young team right now, and so right now I think our focus should just be to um, make sure all of the women are getting their training in and are getting adjusted to college running. And then from there, I think we will surprise ourselves with how well we can do, because we have a really talented team. It's just going to take a lot of work and motivation in those younger girls and getting the team to really work together and I think that will do well. Yeah. And coach I'll wrap things up with you as you look ahead to, to both of these seasons for these two programs. What are your expectations and and these seasons will be successful in your mind if what plays out? Yeah um, we have some high goals this year there's no doubt whatsoever but we have a lot of great ingredients that we think will help us get there including as Max said uh, very talented upperclassmen and then some good freshmen that are coming in and we got a transfer that we think can make a difference. For the women, they're young, we know that, but we got some good upperclassmen to help, help lead there. But those freshmen can surprise you. Uh, guys, looking good. Women, they can surprise the heck out of you. You can't predict them as well as the guys. That's something I've learned. And so both teams are pretty much fired up. And now as a coaching staff, we need to help get them there. We're going to have some great team leaders uh, as captains to help get us there. And obviously, the big uh, conference meet being here at Colorado College. So we're looking forward to seeing the SCAC teams here. Colorado College Tigers cross-country programs. Again, once again, the CC Tigers will be led as they head in the season by head coach Ted Castaneda, along with senior Max Blackburn and sophomore Lucy Wagner. The Tigers will open up the 2019 campaign on September 5th when they head over to the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. Rust Buster, Coach Max, Lucy, thanks so much for joining us, and best of luck as you head into the season. Thank you. Yeah, thank Take care. you. Thanks.